I'm like genuinely so gutted. That was limp. That was pathetic. And I now ask the question, has anyone ever succeeded and sacked a manager mid-tournament? Do we need to now think along those lines? Like, it was such a diabolical performance. And Gareth Southgate was at the epicentre of everything that went wrong for England. He was fully responsible for that performance. It's not the worst result in the world. Um, wasn't a pleasing performance in a lot of areas. But look, we did. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. It was so predictable. And, and they, they cope with us. I mean, I mean this is USA. What we're going to do when we get to Brazil? We can forget it. We might as well go home now. Probably the most boring game I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I mean, it didn't really look like we tried to win, but you know, it's all for the taking in the last game, isn't it? So you can't win a World Cup doing nil nil. No chance at all. Nil nil against them. Bad. No chance. Too defensive. Too defensive. Should have got more attacking. Made his changes too late. Made his changes too late again. A blip. A small problem in the fact that we were terrible. But that's okay. Gareth. We'll source it out. A bit deflating, to be honest. You know, it's like England got going in the last 10, 15 minutes, but didn't make much of it. Almost running away from goal. Not much creativity in the midfield. It was a good match. It wasn't boring. I say there's a lot going on. So hopefully we're still in with a chance. It's a good point. We didn't really play well. They were a large part better team, had the better chances. But point puts us in the driving seat, really. We just need anything better than a loss and we're through. We just need the team that played against the run. Because um, they were incredible, and tonight we didn't turn up. It's going to be pragmatic, just don't lose today, and then go into the final game and batter Wales, really. That's what we want to do, isn't it? The players look tired. I don't understand it. 10 o'clock kickoff? Like, what, what is it? They just didn't have the same intensity they had in the last game at all. Um, but, you know, maybe just a little blip on the way, and hopefully <laughs> we'll take it home. On the first game, drew with Scotland, and then won the group, and everybody after the Scotland game was saying, well, that wasn't very good and disappointing. They're still in control of the group, even if it wasn't a great performance tonight. Yeah, I mean, tournaments are very rarely a bed of roses all the way through. I think Gareth has got unbelievable tournament experience, and I think he'll recognise that they'll get through this group. But it was poor, we're all disappointed. We wanted a lot more from England. The clean sheet is a positive. I think Harry Maguire heading those ones out in the second half and the way in which they defended, but... I just, just sometimes our midfield didn't click tonight. We looked tired at times. I didn't feel as though we were connecting combinations in midfield. Thought their midfield were far better. I was disappointed not to see Foden. I know I mentioned him at half time, but for me, that talent is huge. I've not seen anything like that. I mean, I know we've got Bellingham, we've got Grealish, we've got others, but for me, Gareth prefers Mount, he prefers Saka, he prefers Sterling at the moment, but for me, if it's Foden not to be in amongst that, in a start and 11 is uh, and to not come off the bench was interesting well that's the interesting thing is it Roy it's it's not just that he's not in the first 11 and the last two games Grealish and Rashford have both come off on both times and Foden hasn't come on at all yeah we were surprised watching it obviously Garrett would have his reasons of course he's the manager he knows the players better than anybody but we were all stood watching the game saying Foden we'd fully expect Foden to come on with the options and the subs that did come on didn't really have an impact I know they done well the other day but England did look leggy, they looked one paced, it looked short of ideas, even set pieces, you never felt they had a goal in the lock from that. So a really, actually terrible performance. Could you, it's not our night from England's point of view, just make sure it's not lost Yeah, I think game. so. I think because England are in control of the group, particularly they thought if they get the draw, but you're still thinking from England's mindset, result is fine, but the performance was still poor, and you're still looking at England with the quality to have. Go for it, you still want that, have that in your makeup to try and go for the game, but listen, they're in control. Good result, but really poor performance. Yeah. Kick off. Does that take a bit of get you know, that takes some getting used to, doesn't it? Well, we'll be here all night making excuses. Yeah. Obviously we're, Not we're, excuses, just no, in but, terms of yeah, getting but used that's to lots of teams. You have to do that if you're a professional footballer, you travel, these players travel all over Europe, playing different conditions, different systems. They were playing darts last night before <laughs> no, before the game, they were playing a bunch of players and making more excuses. <laughs> They didn't show their quality, simple as that, but it happens. <laughs> well, we're not here to crucify the players. No. They should have done better. They move on to the next game, relax a second. <laughs> they move on to the next game and yeah. they're fine. Yeah. But oh. need to do better. Tonight wasn't good enough. Awful. 10, 11, 12 different kinds of awful. <sighs> Yuck. Completely let themselves down. Shown no ambition. It was so cautious. 1 to 11, absolutely every single one of them showed the wrong attitude from the start to the finish. There is one player who can come off that field and go, 
I gave it a little bit of a go. I showed a bit of dynamism. I showed a bit of confidence. And this is a team that should be brimming with confidence. It was so hesitant. Like right near the end of the game, there's no intensity. There was no tempo prior to it. Awful, absolutely awful. And Southgate as well. Look, the performance is, there's an element of attitude to it. It was getting to a point where I was thinking, hang on a minute, have they been told to do something like this? Yeah, if you're pretty much in the, in the next round, but then booed off, Ex explain that one. Were we booed off though? I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if, was that, if that was aimed at us or uh, I, I don't know. But um, look, I think personally, I'm really pleased with how, the application of the players. I think it was a really tough opponent. They defended incredibly well. Um, to come off the high of the performance the other day and find that same energy um, level of quality was always going to be a challenge. Um, their front six make it so difficult to, to play through and get at their defence. And I thought we actually controlled the game really well. Our two centre-backs were absolutely outstanding with the ball. Um, to play with such composure against the sort of pressure that and the angles that the USA team um, press with is unbelievably difficult and, and it's only when you have two players like we have that you really appreciate um, the strain of the game that they can take. Yes, we lacked a little bit of zip and quality in the final third um, and we weren't able to open up to, to create really good chances. But we had to show another side of ourselves in terms of the resilience without the ball, the recovery runs, defending our box well, defending any number of corners and set plays that came in. And to be a successful team in a tournament, you've got to show those different faces. And I think we did that tonight. You have to critique it how you see it. We've got away with a nil-nil and we've allowed them to look really, really good. I said Anthony Robinson was an was a sort of problem going forward, but there was space in behind, but we never played the ball forward quickly enough. Declan Rice feels like a bit of a problem for me. Again, I love him as a footballer, but if he's gonna sit there, he has to get on the ball and he has to play on the half turn. And trust me, I've done it myself. <laughs> I've hidden in centre midfield and it was bordering on that. You you've, kept, you've kept an unfit Harry Kane on all game, why? That'd be my question when I, if I was in there, you know. It says, how is Southgate wasting this England team, man? He's not really wasting it, mate. It's a draw. It's not the end of the world. In fact, it puts us in a strong position. Mm. Mm. It's a group, though, yeah. we should just be breezing through. Really. Should be, Come mate, on. but we ain't. Is that, it? that is it. Nil-nil. The spoils are shared. This is, this is the problem, isn't it? This well, is, you know... He's got the talent. His player's not playing well, and they're, they're, they're staying on the pitch for fast. I, I, I don't really know. Like when you look at that game today, there's no, there's, you go through the front three. Like I'm, you know, we're all we're all soccer fans apart from yourself. But Clear. but he didn't play well today. But he didn't play well today. <laughs> Harry Kane awful. <laughs> Sterling awful. I thought I thought we just were too slow. Uh, didn't move the ball quick very enough. Very pedestrian. Yeah, very pedestrian. Midfield didn't move it quick enough. Um, didn't create enough. Kane was a bit static as well, yeah. um, and I think Southgate could have probably changed it a bit earlier as well. Yeah, we were saying that during the game. Uh, yeah. What do you think? Well, you were shouting for God's sake, do something. No, no, I was like, blooming so, hell, blooming hell. That, that really summed it up, didn't it? It was do like watching something. Wolves play. Yeah, I mean, they never pressed them at all, did they, really? No, I'll yeah, tell you what, you've got to, first of all, you have to say about USA, the, I mean, I watched them against Wales the other night, and I looked mm. it, they were very, very positive. They pressed, they never stopped running, they closed down, they were very disciplined, they were incredibly motivated. And when they had the chance, they attacked with pace, with skill. Fair play to them. I mean, and we got, a, we got away with it a couple of times. You were going to come in there? Yeah, I thought, I thought that Musa was very, very good yeah. for them. I don't think the performance was anywhere near good enough. Um, we didn't. There was a five-minute spell at the end of the first half where we started to get in. We had a couple of, you know, a couple of chances. But, you know, we never had any real sustained pressure. Did we even no. have a shot on target in the second half? No, no, no. no. I, I mean, it was... It, no, there was know. one rubbish one, I think, for Rashford at the end. It was more of a cross, if anything. So I'm just going to give it a flat five. So we're in complete agreement. Fives yeah. all round. If, and if you're going to get it in the box, 
you stand a chance of either getting it in the goal or getting a corner. Or a deflection or something. or something that happened. Something. But give it a go. Like, show some energy. Drive into the channels. There was so much space in behind Anthony Robinson. The second kept coming short. Spin. Be that player that you are for Arsenal. Play wide. Like we said in the preview, it was there. And if you can't go through the middle, go round the side. Trippier kept coming back inside. Shaw lethargic. Kane not fit clearly. So again, change it. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I mean, all the feel-good factor, all of the belief, all of the genuine, genuine dreaming that the Jules Rimet could be coming to England has dissipated tonight. It's over. We're not good enough. And the most crucial thing about this is the players are. We have a vast array of talent. We arguably have the best squad in this tournament. When you look, even at the brilliance of Brazil, Richarlison and Rafinha don't get an England team. England have better options than Brazil up front. And that is the performance that we stick in. It's so unacceptable. And I don't see how we have any chance of getting anywhere with Gareth Southgate at the helm. And I know that it's drastic. But this is a drastic situation. We are on the precipice of wasting one of our best ever chances of winning international silverware. All because we're sticking with a man who has proven to us both in Russia and at Wembley last year when we put in that pitiful performance against Italy. He should have never been given an opportunity after that. Foden needs to come off a mount as well at some point. Uh, we have regressed there. Sorry, there's a bad here. Which is going to lift my mood a little bit. No, it's a nil-nil. We've got four points. We should be okay. Weston McKinney was terrible in that first game against Wales. All of a sudden, he looks like a world beater. Musa really, really good for him as well. Anthony Robson needs to be bought by, you know, a top club. He's a really, really class fullback. But there's an element of getting a bit fortunate there because we weren't anywhere near at it. I'm so disappointed. Absolutely awful. Pep Guardiola. One of the best managers to have ever walked the face of the earth has seen an awful lot of Raheem Sterling, Phil Foden and Jack Grealish. Pep Guardiola knows them really well. And Pep Guardiola has concluded that Phil Foden is the best of the lot. How Gareth Southgate has concluded that he is the worst of the lot is completely and utterly unforgivable. It is so poor. And the fact that England fans who have spent an arm and a leg to get out to Qatar are having to boo their team off. The fact that we can put in a performance that is so abysmal and is resorting and has resulted in England fans booing is just so unacceptable. And we really do need to get something right. I mean, today's performance was about as limp as Monday's was effervescent. But we haven't learned. We haven't reacted. So America, fair play to them. They played very well here and they got it right. But they have looked at England and they have worked out that there is a way, a tried and tested way to stop England playing. Iran weren't able to do that. Iran, very unfortunate that their deficiencies coincide with England's strengths. America managed to nullify England so easily without any sort of grief. And overall, the USA were the better team. Overall, they were the better team. And the USA will genuinely believe that they should have won that game. They will be looking at that game thinking that they should have won. They will be looking at that game thinking it was a missed opportunity. They created more chances. They created better chances. They hit the bar. And we really rode our luck a bit. Overall, they were far better than us. And that is so, so poor.